All right, just say your name for a second. Uh, Kenneth Edwards. I'm going to tell you a coal mine story. Just one of many out of 35 years of working under the mountain. I worked in a coal mine and it's the farther, let's see, I guess it's the pretty close to Rich Lands, Virginia. I'd worked there for about eight and a half, nine months. When one day the miner had broke broke down, so the boss, he sent one of the guys outside to get some parts to fix it with. And he told him to hurry, we was trying to get back to coal. Well, when he come back, he told the boss, he said, I seen a light down on the main hallway. He said, Luther, what have you been taking today? Because you see this light. He said, no, I'm serious. He said, I seen this light and it disappeared. Well, we all kind of thought it was a joke because we'd worked there this eight and a half, nine months and none of the rest of us had seen anything. Well, then we went into work one Monday morning and the Houdal boss, he was at the miner where they were servicing him. And he proceeded to tell us his story that he'd seen a light in that mines that night when he was making his fire boss run. And so we got to thinking, you know, maybe, maybe this guy, he was at himself. Maybe he did see something. But still nobody else had seen it, just those two people. So we just kind of passed it off. Well, me and the boss, we decided one Sunday evening that we was behind on Bolton. He called me, he said, you want to go in early in the morning? The power's been off at the mines. The hoot out didn't work. Uh, we'll go in, we'll boat up a place or two, and it'll help us on producing coal on our shift. So I said, yeah. Well, there was nobody on the job except a night watchman outside and me and this boss. So here, we start underground about 20 minutes after three in the morning. And so we're going in this mines up the hallway. I'm driving this little personnel carrier. He's riding with me. When we rounded number three belt drive, heading up the main straightaway, we're sitting light. He said, stop. I said, I said, what is it? He said, do you see that light of gunner? I said, I do. He said, turn around. I said, why? He said, there's nobody under this mountain but you and me. Just me and you. Go back outside. I said, no. I said, hold on. Let's find out what this is. So he told me again. He said, no. I said, yeah, let's find out what this light is. I said, there's an explanation for it. So we go on. I go exactly where the light crosses the hallway. And I stopped. Well, there's a bradish line that goes up that hallway. What's a bradish line? A bradish line is a block wall that is built between two entries to direct your air. Okay. Every five, every five bradishes, there's a man door in so you can go through it. So I kept my eye on this light and I run that buggy hard as it go. And he's telling me, let's just go back outside. I said, no, we're gonna see what this light is. And it was shining right at us. I said, I'm gonna find out who it is. Well, the closer we got to it, the further the light went toward that bradish line. I said, it's going to go, it's going to get out of this hallway if we don't hurry. Well, I pull up to where this light disappears, and I stop. There's no man door in that bradish. There's no tracks in the dust. And there's no light. The light just went away. Well, it went on for a few days. And he said, I'm not making this mines no more by myself. He said, you know, he said, I, I believe Luther. 
piece of pricing this light with my own eyes. That's what I did too. So we mined there three or four months longer. They hired a new guy there. Well, this guy had worked in this mines before we worked, worked there. We was telling him about seeing this light. He said, oh, y'all seen the light down on the main hallway down here? I said, yeah. I said, what is that light? Have you seen it? He said, oh, yeah. He said, there used to be an old section drove up in there years ago, and they had a roof fall. And two pinner men got covered up with rock, and it trapped his buddy. So this guy that weren't injured too bad, he had come out of the place hollering for help. And he had crossed that hallway to try to find somebody to help him. And he passed away too. He was in that bad of shape. So that explained to us why we could see that light. And you'd see it in the same place every time it was seen. And it would go out there. You wouldn't see it no more. So I told Willard that that was our boss. I said, well, that explains now why you see that light in that area of the mines. And uh, they were still seeing it there when we quit. <laughs> it was pretty wild. Do you believe it was what it was? Yes, I believe it was. Yeah? I believe it was a, I believe it was a signal to show people that this miner that was not dead was really looking for some help, hollering for some help. His buddy. But just about everybody at that mines after that had seen this light at some point in time. So it weren't just one or two people. And uh, I said, well, that just goes to show you, you know, sometimes if you just stay right after something, you can find out what it is. But if they hadn't hired this new guy, to give us this information, we'd never know what that light was. Is the mine still open? No. No, it's closed. But it was pretty wild. Cool. It's pretty eerie. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, uh, in a way, he asked me, he said, don't that bother you? I said, yes, in a way. But I want to know what it is. And uh, so we finally, we finally got an explanation of what it was. That's right, cool. <laughs> but it was scary, you know, it was something to think about.